Welcome to Team Tour 7.5, Mirror Mania. What's up everyone, Sag here, and today we're kicking off the first week of Team Tour 7.5. So what you're watching right now is going to be my set versus Rui Han on Golden Pack Mirrors. So the first week is already over, I'm not going to spoil what happens here so you can watch to the end to see if our team wins this week or not, but I'm going to be basically going over what Team Tour is about, and how it's being run this season. So for this season, we have three groups of six teams with five people apiece on each team, duking it out in separate conferences. We have the United States, the European, and the International Conference. I'm going to be going over the current standings for each conference, who beat who for this first week, and by the end of the video, you'll see if we won our first week as well. So the United States Conference has 100 Echoes beating Jiggy Hemmons and the Sirius Williams 3-2, 100 Geckos losing to Swagnificance 2-3, that's Geckos with a C, and then we have 100 Geckos loses to Super Auto Rangers 2-3, and that's Geckos with a K. So the United States Conference has um, interesting choices of names, that's for sure. Uh, I wouldn't want to be on the 100 Geckos teams, either of them. For the European Conference, we have Bend Kai Over beating Freets, Roll, Win, Repeat, 3-2. We have Cryin' in the Club losing to Team Star but also other packs, 2-3. And then we have Seats of Our Pants beating HTTPS, 3-2. Uh, the, their name is much longer than that, but by God, I can't see it. I'm not even going to try. And for the International Conference, we have Dugis Sea God beating Karma's Kittens, 3-2. Monkey Business beating Men in the Mirror, 3-2. And then the last group that we have is Dr. Dune and the Dune Bots versus May the Pack Force Be With You. So currently, we have two losses on our side, which is, is not looking too good. So the rest of us are really going to need to pick up the slack if we want to win this week. Also, if I forgot to mention the way the mirrors are going down... Top person plays pack one, and it goes pack two, pack three, pack four, and weekly pack uh, in that order. So hopefully that's not too confusing. So some of these sets go really long. Thankfully, we're only doing a best of five here. Best of sevens can get actually kind of long. We only have to play a maximum of five games, and if we win 3-0 or 3-1, then it's a little bit shorter. So these types of videos are just naturally going to be a bit longer because I want... I kind of just want to show the whole deal. Maybe if I feel like it becomes too much of a hassle, I might shorten up some of the the sets. So you kind of, I go through like game one, game two, game three, and then like you can see the, the rest of the games type of deal. I don't really know how I'm going to do it yet. So for now, I'm just going to show it all, you know, because... If, if anything else, you want to see exactly how I'm doing each thing. If you're really trying to get better at Golden Pack, I think this is going to be good for you. Uh, and like I said, I'm not going to be super entertaining. I'm just going to be sort of explaining my thought process on why I'm doing things. And yeah, and just trying to play my best. So I hope you enjoy this set. Let me know what you think about Team Tour and enjoy the video. Find Fig, that's really, really good. I think Chipmunk is, is pretty decent. Of course, I think Possum is still the best tier one. Just stats onto anything is really, really nice. Oh, wow. He did get it up to 7 health. Oh, he combined one. I see. That eh, won't matter. My guinea fowl is putting in the work. Uh, Really good stuff here. I might buy that lettuce. I think we, we level up first. Saiga, Antelope, or Falcon... Like, Saiga Antelope is good, but I don't like it because of Fig. I think I get rid of Groundhog here by Falcon level again. Interesting. Now it's a Cockatoo. I think I just stack Falcon and freeze Lettuce. So he could potentially level that up. I think I'm going to play like this. It's a bit weird, for sure. He gets one level up. I mean, he might have two from Sea Urchin. 
but that'd be kind of weird. He needs a tier three to buff with Baboon. I was really hoping for one of the scalers here. Oh, that's a huge win for me. That's really big. I, I kind of just want to hit this lettuce now. I don't care if it's a targeted salad. That's enough for me. I really want fig. Perfect. And we get level up. This falcon's going to get buffed. Sea urchin is still probably going to die to his fig. Kind of weird to run the four squad or run the five squad here. I think, and it's kind of just weird to pick up Manta Ray in general here. If, if you're up on life, you always pick Manta Ray. If you're down on life, I don't think you ever pick Manta Ray. I'm going to run it like this. So it's going to be a bit scary for Ruihan taking Manta Ray here, but maybe that was his best level up. It's like, I can't really blame him. He's just going all out on the, the figs. Yeah, that fig is just good. Fig is good. Oh, I could get banana though. I think I think I'd still rather fig. Uh, we could Egyptian vulture fig. <laughs> I've wanted to do this and I've just never found an opportunity to do it. Kind of weird that I'm going to do it in my first set cuz now I can hit sea urchin with it. I kind of like it. The only problem is that these are both at four health. So I'm going to need to to buff them a little. Probably don't want to hit the falcon with the fig. It's going to be a little awkward, I think. No, that the baboon's going to die. Maybe this should be up front. Yeah, this many figs is a bit scary. I'm hoping this works. I, I think it should. I, I don't know how the figs activate, though. Yeah, it did work. I think. Falcon is amazing in the mirror, because you, you're able to, to get stuff off of them. He has level 2 baboon. What did he have in here? Is it nothing? Honestly, I'm I'm almost tempted just to potato my baboon. It's a little awkward not not buying it, but I think this actually like plays around stuff better. Cuz now all all figs go into baboon, which means everything survives for me. He's going to he's going to be scary though cuz now he is actually getting the gold off of Manta. He's going to put something in Beluga. It's it's kind of weird. I like I don't think I normally ever do this. I think what I'm going to hedge for is uh Niala and just try to get Niala uh Egyptian vulture. Nice, nice. We put a chocolate cake on that. Little interesting. Would I want another potato? Would I want durian? Durian doesn't seem horrible. Baboon's going to buff my vulture. I kind of want to just get rid of the sea urchin. Or find a level up. That would be nice. Okay, we're going to go with level 2 falcon here. Bear. I might grab bear here. 
sell out of Sea Urchin, but then I don't have anything for Vulture to hit. I don't know, that might not be that good. This is like really awkward. <laughs> I'm making it really awkward on myself. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. I think maybe freeze a slug. I can actually run front falcon because this baboon dies if he keeps three figs. He didn't keep the three figs. What the hell? Don't matter though. GG Ruihan. Does game one. Uh, that was like that was like a super weird game for me. I feel like that's that's like not how I ever play. Okay, here we go again. Game two. Still best of five. I guess I'm gonna try my own magpie start. It's always combined magpie. It might even buy goose, but I think you'd rather have uh this guy, possum. You damn right I'd rather have possum. And I'm still gonna run magpie up front, even though he might run goose. He didn't, but it, it works out. We didn't win, but that's fine. Uh, we definitely take that. I think I only want possum. Uh, I'll take a goose. Not that it matters, really. But he might, he might do a little switch up or something. But again, it, it doesn't matter. Maybe I should have just... Uh, I don't know, rolling three more times feels kind of bad to look for possum. Even though this turn doesn't matter because we both tied. We're going to get it back anyways. Rihan is going Bulldog again. Um, Bulldog is not really what you want to buy unless you see like two of them. Okay, maybe he did see two of them then. We actually did win that round. Kind of nuts. We get to level here. We have two good things. That's bad. This is bad things. I could see picking up a Flycatcher, but I kind of don't like it. I think Meerkat's better with Magpike since it has high health already. So I think I'm going to go Meerkat, even though I don't like it in the mirror. I think I'm going to go Meerkat. I think I'm going to buy Stilt, sell onto Sea Urchin, sell Goose, buy Hercules Beetle. And I think I like this a lot for the way that this is going to work. So this is going to be like a 7 attack guy. Maybe I can do it like this. That might be better. And again, those are both pretty poor level ups. Flycatcher is a bit better, but since he didn't go Groundhog, I don't really want to go Flycatcher. I feel like Ruihan is the type of guy to go scaling anyways. Nice win there. Would I buy Apple? Probably not. I could stack a magpie. I don't think I care too much about that. Definitely buy this guy. That wasn't like the best turn. I think we're we're both not having like the best turns per se. I think it's fine. His sea urchin has three health. Like I could I could do something like this instead. To think like maybe he doesn't get another urchin. No, I think it's probably better just to, to leave it like this. I won last time. We'll just go again. And uh, his level up was musk ox. Which is okay. It'll be better with something like osprey. Which would have made my flycatcher a lot better. Maybe flycatcher was better. In the long run. Could have been holding gold too with magpie. That might have been better. That was just better to have Hercules beetle up front. We can tie here. Okay, we do get the level up here. Very, very good. I might just sell Herc beetle. We'll see what it is. 
I think I sell... Sea Urchin to grab Cockatoo. And buff the Stilt. It's kind of weird with double Beta Fish right here. It's also Surgeon Fish. I really like Surgeon Fish. I'm very Surgeon Fish pilled. Imagine not picking up either of these by selling Sea Urchin just to pick up Surgeon Fish. How weird would that be? Pretty fucking weird, right? I mean, we're gonna go hog wild. <laughs> it's crazy skipping double beta fish for surgeon fish. I I almost want to say it's right, but maybe I'm maybe I'm smoking crack. And like, what is Ruihan doing? He's just hoping for a good level up. They're not even gonna know my level up was cockatoo. Well, I know his level up was cockatoo. That's for sure. Nice, but he got Cuttlefish. Cuttlefish is super good. I kind of like grabbing this Black Neck Stilt, too. Okay, that Baboon definitely got to get that Baboon. I'm buffing three. Just going to buff these three. I think that's fine. Baboon buffs Surgeon Fish. Oh, it could buff Meerkat. I don't think I care. And Lettuce only works on two things. Lettuce is kind of shit here, if you think about it. No, actually, I forgot. It buffs Meerkat. I keep... Dude, I'm like Meerkat blind. That guy's a, an actual pet. Probably going to put front cuttlefish to make sure this trades. And I guess that's fine. I think I think we might as well keep that trade. Nice hit on the Surgeon Fish, because I want to just be able to get rid of Meerkat. Oh, it didn't do it. Okay. Kind of weird. Oh, no. Okay. I see. Muskox getting bigger. I think I'm just going to sell Meerkat for this guy. Dude, the, the fireworks are going nuts right now. Do we want Potato? Probably not. We definitely want Sea Lion, 100%. And I'd go as far as to say we want this fig. <laughs> definitely want this fig. Maybe just hold the two gold for next turn. I, I feel like that's not bad. We want this to be over four health. This isn't going to have as much attack anymore. Oh, I can't. I can't do it this way either. Maybe this? No, I, I don't really want my back guy to get hit by Cuttlefish. I think I'll just do this for now. And then next turn I can move Sea Lion to get buffed by Surgeon Fish, I think. I need, um, I think the best thing with Surgeon Fish is probably Falcon. It's just really good. Mm, level 2 Musk Boy. He's got some good stuff, for sure. I think I have to buy this just because it's a triple. Uh, that seems fine. This seems fine. Okay, that's going to be pretty good for next turn. This is going to get buffed. I, I should have my position slightly different, I think. Probably like this. Everything is out of fig range now. Let's see, what would be really good level up? For Surgeon Fish. Probably none of these. Maybe Wildebeest? I don't know. It's going to use my Trumpets. Do you get to level up twice, though? 
And level 2 C-line is just going to be really, really good. He's got the bases for, like, a really good team, though. Fire Ant is really strong. Level 2 Musk Ox is just, like, really, really good tempo. Oh, I do get the double hit here. Oh, I still lose, though. Wow. Okay, that's bad. Uh, German Shepherd, good. Level again, I'm assuming. Bear, also good. I think German Shepherd's got to be better, though. Sell both of these for German Shepherd Niala. And then just try to throw a banana on everything. Or is Bear better? I think I think it's always safer to go German Shepherd instead. And I guess I can just put Potato on it when I want to. Chocolate Cake Neal is going to feel pretty good, I bet. Is that enough to kill this? 12, 3. That's technically enough to kill it. Yeah. Oh, wait. I probably should have just froze Wolf. Wolf was probably really good. Oh, there was nothing in there. Rui Hunt didn't have anything in there. He also got a German Shepherd, which is scary. This is really good. I think I'm going to do this. I think this is uh, important. And it's probably just sell Surgeon Fish. Or whatever I can find in here. Would I ever do Cuttlefish? No, I really wish I would have froze that wolf. Mm, maybe I should just buy it. And actually have a roll. And I think I'd rather do this. Actually, no. We might as well just do this. And I'll do it next turn. Just to get something in it. And then Baboon's always going to buff German Shepherd. Uh, should we have health on everything or attack? Probably just attack on everything at this point. Like, I might lose this turn, but I think that's okay. Yeah, you got the banana there. Oh god, and slug. Ooh, there's the warthog, though. That's big. Uh, this tomato won't do anything. I think I want these two. Well, how can I get those two in? I mean, I can get Warthog in through here. I don't know. Is it better to have Warthog or Wolf? It might just be better to have Wolf because of his own German Shepherd and a bunch of summons. Okay, I'll do this. And who should we hit PETA on? I guess it doesn't matter. That's I'd rather just roll, I think. Move these around. That's going to be good. Maybe I go double. Double Beluga. It's only 14 damage. Oh, no, it'll be more than that.
Oh, my chocolate cake gets removed. Wait, that's pretty nasty. Hmm, that is pretty bad. And this guy's just so big. No matter what, something's going to get removed out of the back. So maybe, maybe I just have to leave the baboon there. I think I'm going to do this. Pretzel, that's four. What'll take it up? Like another one. I guess I have this as well. Both of these even. Yeah, another banana probably would have done better than the sea lion here. I think I'm just going to stack it. I think I might just lose though. He just has so many more summons than I do. Oh, he has a level 2 German Shepherd now as well. Yeah, that slug went super hard. Probably was not the surgeon fish. I think it was definitely the double beta. Okay, okay. Let's not let's not fool around this time. Not the best start either. <laughs> yeah, it kind of has to be this way too. I guess I could run. I don't know. What happens if I do this? Yeah, I think I should have definitely went Warthog as well. Rehan loves the Bulldog. I'm telling ya. We just need to play clean, clean matches. No, no getting creative. There's no point in getting creative. Nice win there, needed that. What's the level up going to be? There's flea. Do, do I do enjoy a flea? I mean, sell possum onto it. I guess I just buy the the stilt. Just buy the apple, maybe. Look for the goose. Maybe African penguin's good. Okay, might have to sell out of the, the geese. It looks a bit more awkward for Rui Han's side. He doesn't have a triple known. He could have, like, double frozen, though. I just need to buy all the good pets and make sure Rui Han doesn't buy the good pets. Also, probably don't let him get to late game. Buy more figs. Mm, that's not really doing me... A whole lot, is it? I think I'm going to do this. I think this is better. That's way better. That's what my posi position should have been. My position's been kind of buns. Ruihan, Ruihan, what are you doing on these turns that that it takes this much time, I wonder? What's going on through that that noggin of yours? He's planning out his fig buys. I put Bulldog all the way in the back. 
I definitely get a good hit on it now. Mm, it's probably not surgeon fish this time. Okay, those are pretty good. That's pretty good too. Might be Jover. Don't want to call it yet. Might be Jover though. I mean, it's definitely this. Mm, might be Jover. It's looking really good for me. We want to buff health to keep to keep stuff out of fig range. So that's what we're gonna do first. Yeah. This is pretty hard to beat unless they basically unless Rihan gets the same thing as me. It's kind of hard to beat. Um, I think maybe there's a chance that Manta Ray works pretty well here for him. Like I also had my option of Manta Ray, but Sea Lion, Sea Lion's just that guy. I think it's always just safe to go Sea Lion. Uh, Manatee as well. Manatee's just good. Scaling in general, just so good. Especially because of Fig. Fig really, like, tries to put a, a damper on that. I guess uh, also just buffing health with Sea Lion's nice because I do have the African Penguin, so I might just go for level 2 African Penguin Waffle. Oh, he's got Saiga Antelope. I do like Saiga Antelope. He's a cool guy. Yeah, need another fig. Uh, wait, was it combined there first? I don't think so. Should probably change this position a little bit. Yeah, let's go with this. Everything's out of fig range for me. It would be way better if I just bought a bunch of figs, but... Didn't see it. I had to buy a lettuce there instead. Oh, this looks good for me, though, I would say. He's got tempo, but hopefully uh, my scaling will, will be better. That's a really good tie for me as well. Okay, level, level up flea. Into Niala, that's a good one. Probably just sell the stilt. God, so many fleas. So many nanners. Really want to hit the level 2 African penguin. Again, buff the health here for the fig. Hmm, would it be better to put the flea back up front again? It might be. Psyche so Antelope's pretty good, but I, I don't think it's that good. I guess if he hits a really early level 2, then it's going to be really good. And goes like full summons. I don't know, my team just looks really clean. Like, it, it, it I don't really have like a lot to think about. I probably don't put Chocolate Cake on Niala either. Nice. Okay, so we're we're already starting to to win. The scaling is coming back to me. Oh, it's probably just manatee. That thing's so good. And I think I think I just want to buff the Niala. Potato. Nah. Big. Nah, I want another baboon. You see, you damn right. You damn right. I want that other baboon. Oh, let's see. Now I could buy lettuce, which would feel really good for me. I, I really like lettuce, but I think avocado might be better because if I level up, nah, I'm just gonna buy lettuce. Okay, um, that's pretty good. I, <laughs> uh. See, like, the, the thinking, I don't really have to do too much of that thinking thing anymore. I think we're going to hit a turn like this. 
Yeah, this is not really a fig game. The one fig still feels fine, but buying more, I think, is probably not worth it. This is way better. I take out all the small shit that way. Yeah, way better. Very, it's gonna be very tough here for Rui Han. I think I'm gonna go with the baboon first. Yeah, that's crazy. If I level up again, I mean, I think it's just sell manatee for cobra. Is is what I think it would be, and just start working on this. Maybe start giving attack to some stuff. I could put it all the way in the back, too, so it gets double trigger. Maybe. Oh, I could put flea in the back here. Wait, that's kind of goaded. I think I want that just in case. Mm, unfortunately, no bro for me. Yeah, since we have four lives, we're guaranteed to make it to turn 11, and then Baboon Cobra just goes so hard. He's getting more stuff. Maybe it would have been better to have Cobra up front more. Because, like, look, it's not even... I get to pop a fucking potato that doesn't matter. <laughs> nice. We, we clearly just level here and uh, potato this guy. Yeah, it should probably just be like this. Head up further. Don't need Durian. I don't even think I need Warthog. I really don't need anything. Avocado? Yeah. Probably just good. Good enough. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to get more attack again. I like it. I like it a lot. Now it does three damage. We're going we're going crazy. He never did hit the level two psychic antelope, and that's the problem with it, I think. His build just it doesn't it doesn't work like it should. And if he does want to try to pivot something in, even even just having one fig is gonna make him like have to think for a second. To be like, oh, if I get this in, I need to buff at least one health on it or something. I suppose the big boys don't don't really need to worry about it except for German Shepherd. I don't know. Like you take a look at both of our teams and you're just like, which team's better? I mean, I have level two baboon, level two sea lion. <laughs> it's it's gonna be tough. And then I get I get more triggers now. Pop that potato. Alright, and uh what do we do here? So now Baboon is gonna buff my Cobra no matter what. I suppose we really just want more figs, but I, I think I'm just gonna go like crazy into this Cobra. Uh onion would be nice, but I don't need it. I, yeah, I think we just we just focus on this. I don't think there's any point in focusing on anything else. This Banana is going to be nice if I do eventually put it at the back. I think I'm going to run it like this for a turn. Honestly, it doesn't matter. I don't really need to be thinking this hard about it. This does 9 damage now. It could have been up at the front. It could, it could probably be anywhere. Actually, maybe not in the very front. Unless it had Onion and I had Monkey. I just don't see how I could lose. Um, like level 2 Warthog gets something crazy in Beluga. He did get a level 2 of it, but I get to... Yeah, this is so good. Yeah, like just, I just look at that. It's nasty. That's so nasty. It was like a perfect game for me, basically. No thoughts at all. This could be the last one. I think I'm going to skip both of these. They've come back to me. 
<laughs> it's really awkward now. I think I'm going to take Cone Snail. Normally, you could call me a Bulldog believer, but after watching Ruihan basically go ev go Bulldog every single time, I don't know. It's scaring me. I don't want to go Bulldog when he's going Bulldog. Nice, nice. Um, that's probably just an easy stack. He has Goose. I like how he stacked Cone Snail, because I feel like that's what I would have done. Actually, I think I did that last game, and I lost because of it. Or lost the round, rather. I don't know if that is good. I don't think I want the other magpie. I don't think I care. If I win this round, this is really, really good for me. That's really good for me, because now he's already down a life. Uh, level up fine. These are bad, but I think I'll take guinea fowl. Like, I like guinea fowl. Especially with cone snail. I think that's fine. And I will apple immediately. I'm that guy. I kind of like squid. Squid ain't bad. Uh, how do I want to do this? So he still has goose. I could just run magpie up front. Nah, probably not. This? This seems kind of weird to run it like this. I don't know, maybe I'll just leave it this way. Unfortunately, I don't have the cherry, so I can't put squid up front. Oh, he just got my team, but better, right? Oh, barely. Oh, my God. Oh, that's really good. Mm, it's probably just sell magpie here. I get two rolls. Not that I, I don't even know what I would look for in those two rolls, but I've got them. Maybe like this? That way, that wouldn't even trade. No, I think it still has to be this way. And it could be this way instead. Oh, wait, wait, I can do it like this. Surely I'll have two trumpets. Maybe I would rather have these two trumpets, though. The two extra won me the last round, so I'm going to say that I need those two extra again. We're both 4-8. No, it did, it did work again. Okay, good. Now I get a juicy level up here. Okay, not the greatest. Vakita's, like, really weird, because, like, it might give me, like, a decent number of trumpets. I don't know. It's probably just Falcon, though. Mm, that's kind of shit. I think I'll just take avocado. I think I'm going to have it this way. I think I like this more. Mm, it's a bit awkward. I think this is kind of anyone's game at this point. Ruihan. If Ruihan gets some scaling Huge. here, he might have quite the advantage. Fig ain't going to do much. For either of us. It's going to hit my Cone Snail. If he gets two, it hit my Groundhog, which, again, doesn't mean that much. If I buy my own Fig, also doesn't really mean that much. He did buy the Fig. Also got Manatee, which is big. I get a lot of value out of my Guinea Fowl, though. Wait, that was so much value out of Guinea Fowl. If I can get that to level two, should I buy my own Fig? I'm actually not going to buy it. I like this, though. I could have sold my Cone Snail. What the hell am I doing? Just kidding. I always knew that I would sell my Cone Snail for Baboon. I don't know. I like Beta Fish here. Oh, I like this level up, too. God, I wish I want to rip it now, but I, <laughs> I know I shouldn't. There's a chance, like, guinea fowl sticks around for a while. 
So I think I'm I think I'm just gonna do this. Maybe I should hit Kenny Fowl with with the beta fish, maybe. Sure. It's got manatee. Manatee's really good. Oh, that gives me another trigger out of it, though. We're we're just playing like crazy, I feel like. And I get this level up. Oh my god, and it's blue ring docto. I think I get rid of squid. Squid's been doing me like a lot of favors, but I think I'd rather just keep beta fish at this point. And this way I can buy sell cockatoo. Buy the bro. Buy the beta fish. This falcon's gonna get buffed. And now we kind of just look for waffles. Uh, baboon buffs the falcon. What's gonna get hit? Either the baboon or the blue ringed. Um, th there's like a world where I front falcon again. Is it? Well, if he buys, no, no, no. Because if he buys another fig, then both of these die. And then I won't get as much value off my guinea fowl. I think I think we just leave it this way and and hope that we win here. I mean, we have six life. We have good scaling. So I'm not like too worried. He's going to look for more manatees. He's going he's gonna to try to get banana. Actually, I don't Banana would be way too slow. I think he would have to go for more manatees. We'll see what happens. Um, this time it's a bit different, but we both end up with four. Yeah, and I just win. Because Falcon's goaded. And that's, that's all she wrote. They don't call me the pack four golden goat for nothing, baby. Let's go. Well, I may have won my set, but unfortunately, the rest of our team couldn't pull through. We narrowly lose two to three. But that's all right. We've got the other weeks to pick up the pace, and hopefully we can make a comeback. These are the current standings for all the conferences. Thank you so much for watching. Join us next week. Make sure to check out the Twitch as that's where my sets are going to be going down so you can watch it live. Politely smack that like button's ass on your way out. And you know what? Have a wonderful day.